Today I'm going to talk about the warm up for your competition. And that's important because your placing at your next horse show hinges on your great performance, which is based on what you do in your warm up. So let's get started. Hi there, my name is Lauren. Welcome to another video. If it's your first time here, hey, remember to subscribe, hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. I want to know what do you think about my new intro with the horses dropping in there. I just did that and it's kind of fun to do that so I'd like to know what you think about it. And stick around to the end because I got some cookbook exercises you can do in your next warm up that I've used for years that seem to be working really well. When you get to a horse show competition, your warm up is really important because it's the foundation for your day. Don't spring any new exercises on your horse at the horse show grounds when it's in an unusual environment. Have your exercises practiced at home in your own safe environment so that the horse knows what's going to happen and the horse is used to doing these exercises so when you get to the horse show competition and the horse show warm-up area these exercises are going to help steady the horse and calm the horse down so that you do have a good performance does that make sense don't spring any new exercises on your horse in the warm-up ring at your horse show your warm-up exercises start at home. Ride your horse in the warm-up ring the same way you'd ride it at home. You should have a series of exercises that you do during your warm-up to get your horse relaxed, calm, and forward. Use those exercises in your warm-up at your competition so your horse is calm, forward, relaxed. What I use for my horse may be different than what you use for your horse. If you ride long and low at home when you warm up, then do that at the horse show. If you like to do lots of transitions and get your horse going forward, then do that at the horse show. If you see somebody else doing some other exercises, don't think, yeah, you know what, I, maybe I should do that too. That doesn't work that way. Use what you have with your horse that you do normally at home. Don't surprise them when you get to the horse show. If you do surprise them, it makes you uncomfortable and that also makes the horse uncomfortable. So do what you know, stick with it, and use it to your advantage when you're in the warm-up ring to help get your horse calm and forward. Develop a routine at home that you use. It could be 10 to 20 minutes if your horse just needs a little bit of warming up, or it could be a little longer if your horse needs to get calmer and more relaxed. So it depends on your horse, right? So real quick in the comments below, put the common warming up exercises that you do at home and at warm-up ring. When you're in the warm-up ring, don't ride aimlessly around and around and around and around and around and around. You get the idea. That just gets the horse bored and it is not productive on getting the horse warming up. When the horse gets bored, their mind will go somewhere else and try to relieve their boredom. Use the plan that you develop at home that you use in your regular everyday training program warm up. It doesn't have to be extravagant, it just has to be something systematic that's going to get your horse's body relaxed and supple and your horse moving forward and calm down on the day of the show before you get into the ring for your competition. A regular warming up exercises should include circles, turns, changes of rein, changes of pace. So transitions and also some lateral bending that's side to side to get the horses bending and supple through their ribs, through their neck, through their shoulders. You want to include transitions to make sure the horse is going forward, moving off your leg properly, and also to make sure that you have great steering and getting the horse on their hindquarters to use themselves properly. Now here's my cookbook warm up that I use, have used forever and ever. Keep in mind the purpose of the warm up is to get your horse loose and supple and relaxed and calm and moving forward. That's a lot to ask for of a horse at a horse show and a lot to ask of of your horse who is a flight animal and all they want to do is run if something spooks them. So make sure that you include these exercises to get your horse calm and relaxed and bending and supple. Because if you do, then you're going to have a better performance in the competition ring. So my usual warm up includes walking, walking on a loose rein, then gathering up the reins, getting the horse on the bit, and then relaxing on a loose rein again. So that's a transition from a walk on a loose rein to a walk on a contact. And that gets the horse stretching and then back up into a frame again and then stretching and back up into a frame again. Really great exercise and I can tell from the pickup 
if my horse is listening to me and if they want to work that day or if there's some tightness anywhere. And if there's any tightness through that, then I go right to that spot to see where the tightness is and try to work through that tightness. Then you move to a trot. Same exercise at the trot. Trot loose rein, long and low. Pick the horse up, get the horse back together again. You can see I'm sitting up and riding that transition, riding the horse back together on a contact and then back to a walk, to an ordinary walk, up into a trot, loose rein trot, long and low, back up into a regular trot, downward transition to a walk, then loose rein again. So you see I'm doing a transition, but I'm doing a transition and then a transition with a transition and a transition within a transition within a transition. It's kind of like that inception. It's an inception warm up. Also include with those transitions is a trot, establishing rhythm and circling 20 meters at each end of the ring. So then uh, the horse gets some suppleness laterally as well. Then at the, as a, to get the horse up warmed up more, canter the circle, trot down the long side, canter the circle, trot down the long side, then changing the rein, doing the same exercise on each rein as well. And I, this is a great warm up for no matter what level that you're riding at. Depending on your horse, your warm up may be 10 minutes or it may be 30 minutes. So you have to judge that accordingly. And the horse you get on today at the horse show might be different than the horse that you ride at home and it might be different than the horse that you ride next week at your next horse show. So you're gonna have to play it by ear a bit, feel, feel your horse out, see what's going on. Now here's a simple, easy cookbook warm up before you go in the, in the ring to do your jumps if you're doing your hunters. I call it cookbook just cause it's, I've been using it for so long. Easy peasy, three rails on the ground, walk, trot, canter over those three rails. Put the, put the rails at nine feet apart. That way you can walk them, you can trot them, you can canter them really easy. Next step progression in that warm up is take two of the rails, make a cross rail out of them. So you have one nine foot rail, then the cross rail. Really easy. Helps to get the horse moving forward, relaxed and steady over its jumps. Exercise number three, progressing from the cross rail, put that cross rail into a little vertical. Nine foot rail, trotting in over a little, little vertical. Third progression is trotting in nine foot rail to a little oxer. Then you can do those three exercises at the canter too. Really simple exercises. Keep it simple to give yourself confidence, give your students confidence if you're warming up your students, and also to give your horse confidence so that when it gets into that ring, you can nail each one of those takeoff spots. If you have any questions about these, give me an email. Love to hear from you. And real quick, What's your favorite warming up exercise to get your horse ready to go into the hunter ring? Put in the comments below what your favorite warming up exercise is. Love to hear about it. So there's some simple exercises that you can use in your own warm up to get your horse ready to go in the competition ring. And remember, go use this stuff. Go hug your horse, go use this stuff. Thanks a lot, my name's Laura, see ya.